hello friends so in this session we will be talking about the price earnings ratio all right and we will understand that how this price earnings ratio can be interpreted and compared in many different ways price earnings ratio helps us to understand whether the stock is undervalued or overvalued all right it also helps us in finding the future price of a stock so basically it gives a clear idea it gives a great clarity on the stock's performance as against the industry's performance now we will understand these two terms stock's performance versus the industry performance by taking the help of an example of a stock called as hul which is known as the hindustan unilever and we all know that this hul is a fmcg sector stock all right so what we will do is we'll compare the price earning ratio of hul with the price earning ratio of the fmcg sector on the whole right my dear friends fine so continuing ahead we know that price earnings ratio is always interpreted into multiples into times all right so let's take up an example suppose an investor is purchasing a share so remember one thing very carefully that investor purchases a share always on the premium and by that what i mean is for example the value of a company a is 100 crores and we know or we have calculated that the price to earnings ratio of that particular company a is nothing but 10 and we know that the investor is purchasing the shares on a premium or price to earnings ratio of a company is how much 10 so we can say that in order to purchase a company an investor will have to pay 10 times of its value why because the company's price to earning ratio is 10 which means that the investor will pay 10 times of its current value and what is the current value my dear friends yes you can see my cursor over here the current value is 100 crores so in order to purchase this company investor will invest how much 1000 crores on the whole right my dear friends fine so this was the actually nutshell or idea of the pe ratio now let's to take a good look at this pe ratio with the help of an example and we will look at this with the help of an excel slide right so here we go right so as you can see on the screen look at my cursor very carefully here we have the hulp hindustan unilever and there are some peer companies matlab competitors of hul popularly known as dabar india limited colgate palmolive all right so these are some of the peer companies to hul and what we have done is we have found the pe ratio of all these companies hul ho dabar ho ya colgate ho all right and then we have compared this respective pe ratios with the industry pe ratio all right so i will now make you understand that where did i get this source of information from but for that first you need to get clear that the formula for pe ratio is nothing but current market price upon the eps all right and we also know that the formula of eps is nothing but pat which is nothing but profit after tax upon the number of shares all right but since in this session we are dealing with the pe ratio which is nothing but the price earning ratio we will remember that the formula of pe ratio is nothing but current market price upon eps which is nothing but earnings per share all right now observe this screen very carefully which i am showing you now so i went to moneycontrol.com and i typed hul so i got the information of the stock price of hul all right so we are on 19 july today 19th june sorry so today's date is 19 june 2020 and the closing price is 2092 and 25 paise all right so what is the formula of pe ratio my dear friends its current market price upon the eps and we know that the current market price is 2092.25 now we need to find the eps so for that i will go down over here and we will look at this value of eps ttm all right which is nothing but 28.68 now understand this meaning of ttm very carefully my dear friends the full form of this ttm is nothing but trailing 12 months all right i am repeating once again 
the full form of ttm is nothing but trailing 12 months which means that today we are on date 19th june all right so one year pehle matlab 19 june 2019 se 19 june 2020 tak ka eps is how much is 28.68 right my dear friends i am telling you once again trailing 12 months ka matlab kya hota hai aaj ki date se 12 mahina pehle matlab ek saal pehle so today's date is 19 june 2020 so one year backwards 19 june 2019 se leke 19 june 2020 tak eps is how much 28.68 okay my dear friends so we will record this values in the excel sheet now so i go back to the excel over here all right we know that the current market price is 2092.25 upon the eps is already known as 28.68 right so we are observing on the screen that the hul spe the price earnings ratio of hul is how much 72.95 right my dear friends now we compare this spe with the industry pe the industry pe given is 63.94 where did i get it from i will show you so here we go this is the industry pe 63.76 so i will just change that value and i put 63.76 over here all right same way i will put this 63.76 at all the places fine so that's what we did we first found out the hul spe and compared it with the price earnings ratio of industry pe all right so the fmcg sectors overall pe is how much 63.76 but the hul spe is 72.95 so we can clearly say that hul as a stock is overvalued all right my dear friends fine now similarly we will have a look at the peers peers means the competitors one of the competitors of hul is dabar india limited all right so what i do is i again share you the screen of you know money control and we will have a look at the peers so i went to the peers over here here we can see dabar india so i click that dabar india stock now we have to record two things which are those two things we are calculating the formula of price earnings ratio and the formula says current market price upon the eps so the current market price as of june 19 2020 is how much 443 rupees okay so i go back to the excel i will plug in that 443 in the excel and we will also look at the eps part the eps trailing 12 month eps is 6.62 मतलब न्यूमिनेटर में करंट मार्केट प्राइस इज 443 एंड डिनोमिनेटर में ईपीएस इज 6.62 ओके सो आई गो बैक टू द एक्सेल नाउ एंड आई टाइप 443 ओवर हियर इन द न्यूमिनेटर एंड 6.62 इन द डिनोमिनेटर व्हिच मींस ओप्स just a second all right so we are observing that the dabar india's price earning ratio is 66.92 but the industry spe ratio is 63.76 so we can clearly say that dabar india is actually overvalued than the industry spe ratio fine matlab ye stock overvalued hai right my dear friends fine now same way we compared one more peer company which is called as the colgate and we found out that the current market price as of june 19 2020 is 1351 and 70 paise and the eps of a stock trailing 12 month eps is 30.02 so when we divide both of them we get the answer as 45.03 which is nothing but the pe ratio of colgate and 
the industry's PE ratio is 63.76. All right. So we can clearly say from this example that Colgate is actually an undervalued stock. Right, my dear friends. So basically, this was the crux of our video where we understood how to find the PE ratio of a stock, how to you know look at the money control, how to find the EPS trailing 12 month, how to find the PE ratio of a stock and compare it with the industry's PE and comment whether a stock is undervalued, overvalued, or what it is.